Yeah. How are you doing tonight? I'm great, thanks. This is my girlfriend, Amy Lynn. How are you doing tonight? Doing really well, thank you. So you are nominated tonight for Best Choreography, right? on the production of Citizen and American Lyric. It was an adaptation of the book-length poem by Claudia Rankine. She just won a Genius Award. Now she's going to be teaching at Yale, which is kind of a big deal. And it's a wonderful script. And it was produced at the Fountain Theater. And it was an incredible experience. I can't even tell you. That's exciting. So since we are, we just finished the election, how important are and then, now how you think, now how you think. How important are award shows like this at this time? Uh, well, anything the NAACP does is incredibly vital and important. And it's going to lead the way, and we need all the leadership we can have at this yeah. time. So award shows like this lift our spirits and bring us together and give us guidance to stay encouraged and, um, and to stay committed to our work as activists and artists and educators. Hi, beautiful. Hey, guys, it's London Nighton. Hmm? What brings you here tonight? I am performing tonight in celebration of all the nominees, performing an ensemble piece representing for Black Lives Matter. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tell us a little bit about it. I know you can't give too much away, but just tell us. I can't give too much away, but I will tell you this. We're going to bring it. We're going to be united, unified, and symbolic. Black lives do matter, and togetherness is what counts. I have one question. What do you feel like is the biggest misconception about Black Lives Matter? That is a violent group. You know, I really feel like the message that we want to portray is just equality at the end of the day. Not that I believe all lives matter. But, you know, when one is being oppressed, that's what we want to bring to the forefront. So that's the biggest misconception. What are you looking forward most to tonight? Uh, just seeing people I don't get to see often enough to reinforce uh, our togetherness and keeping it positive in these days because it's better than we think. So I just heard about your foundation. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, uh, those lessons started uh, when I was a child and then it picked up after integration. And uh, the reason why we had that such magic that there was something for the kids, expected the kids to do at each age. I mean, brush your teeth, make your bed, take out the garbage, uh, wash your hands before dinner, behave out in the street, and if you don't, I'm gonna hear about it. And, it's, and it started in Africa. How important do you feel like your foundation is in today's society? Same curriculum, same curriculum. So now it's beginning to spread even to the young millionaire athlete and the hip hopper. It's not, they're not by themselves, and they got to listen to the elders by general suggestion. Otherwise, we're gonna, they're going to go down without that belief in God or Allah, uh, uh, being uh, getting rid of the ego, being one of many, being humble, and being grateful that dad or mom put you on the planet and taught you how to do some things and not to forget it. And so the most pleasant place in every city in America, we promise, will be the black neighborhood. Good. What, do you, what, I mean, what brings you here tonight? Well, I'm presenting tonight, and I'm really excited because I'm presenting to so, um, some actresses that I know. So that's always fun to support your peers um, in more way than one. I mean, whoever wins, obviously, I'm excited. It's such an honor to be nominated. I was in a play that I helped write um, in 2013 that got nominated for an ensemble cast. So it's really great, and it's it's such an honor to be nominated and to get this far because theater, we got to keep it alive, you know, and to be able to get out on nights like this and recognize the art, recognize the hard work and the craft that goes into to that is very exciting because um, there's a lot of television and film actors that do theater and it's such a rewarding thing for us yeah. it's 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 something so special about the theater what are you looking forward to most tonight uh, a lot of fun and check out and see who all the talented people are so I can check out some of the productions you know go I don't know where they're gonna be but you know I'm hearing some good things about some of the uh, nominees tonight so yeah. what do you feel like is most important about award shows like this right now in our world well, you know, I think it's important that people are acknowledged for their talent, for their drive, for their passion. You know, um, you have a lot of people out here who are really, really pushing to do what they love to do and making a living at what they love to do. And some of them aren't acknowledged. You know, they go uncelebrated and unacknowledged, unnoticed. And things like tonight, you know, uh, NAACP Theater Awards is important, um, not just for the artistic community, but for the performers who uh, put all their heart and effort into everything that they do. So I need to ask you about this reunion. <laughs> What you got for me? <laughs> How crazy was it really? It, they cut out a lot. I'm sure. You know, uh, and Chris 
Lindsay with her girls and Miss uh, Plastic and you know what? I was yeah. like, you know, bye bye boo boo, boo go home. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted their little five minutes of fame, so I don't know. It was So after that type of reunion, are you planning on coming back? Oh yeah. yeah. I'm coming back. I gotta keep them in line. <laughs> 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 they would be totally out of control if I wasn't on that show. So, yes, I'm definitely coming. We, we, in fact, we're filming, uh, we started our sixth season, and it'll be airing in March. What are you looking forward to most tonight? Today, um, I send all my, my black people getting their awards for theater, because theater is very important. To me, that is like the... the, 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 the what is it? Not the platform, but the strength of acting, you know. And so I'm excited to see all the winners and the, my presenters and all my black people. <laughs> so you're getting the Spirit Award. Yes, I'm getting the Spirit I'm excited to be acknowledged and to be in the room. There's so many greats um, tonight of all nights. I mean, hello. And I'm on there with them. This is great. This is great. So when are we getting more music? More music next year. Promise. Next year. I promise. Okay, I good. promise next year. Good. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. You're presenting tonight. Yes, I How am. How do you feel about that? Oh, I love it because um, I'm not nominated, so... At least I get to be on the stage, you know. Um, and I, I was very honored and very fortunate to do this last year, and I am blessed to be able to do it again this year. And I love acknowledging the theater community and acknowledge and celebrating the actresses. I'm doing this uh, Best Supporting Actress category, so I'm really excited about that. So tell us what's happening with Catherine. Oh. Well, we come back January 3rd, Tuesday night, 9 o'clock on OWN. And, you know, I can't give you a little bit of a spoiler. Well, no, 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 but I can tell you in true have and have not fashion, we're picking up where we left off. It's only going to be like 20 minutes later. So let's just put it this way the body's still in the floor, and Veronica is still in the house. Michi, what do you look forward to most tonight? Um, give me the award. Yeah, because I'm giving the humanitarian award with Carrie um, Gordy, so I'm looking forward to that. And the man that's receiving it is pretty amazing. I mean, he's amazing, so I'm looking forward. Yeah. I'd like to ask you how important you feel like arts are for our students in Los Angeles, because you of all people would know. Well, the arts are so important for every single child here in Los Angeles. After all, this is the entertainment and media capital of the world. Exactly. One out of six, one out of every six jobs is in the creative industry. We've got to train up our young people. We've got to expose them so their lives can be transformed and they can get into this work. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, presenting the award to Rory. Yeah. Okay. And I'm, I'm excited because I've done so much work with Rory in the past. We've raised uh, over a million dollars for arts and education and uh, together. And he's just an awesome, focused, fastidious, aggressive, but kind-hearted gentleman. You look amazing tonight. Oh, thank you, dear. Co-hosting, Miss Tasha Mack. <laughs> Tasha Mack doesn't do theater. Wendy Raquel does. How are you? Yes, yes. There's a big difference. There's a big difference. Yes, yes. yes. What are you looking forward to most tonight? Because you're co-hosting. Right. You know what? This is like a big homecoming for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like I'm a theater baby. I'm born and raised in L.A. So seeing like yeah. Ted Lange and you know Loretta Devine, Debbie Allen, you know everybody, I turn into a huge. You know, I turn into a fan of everybody, so I think I'm a little excited to see a little bit of everything and some of the performances as well, so it'll be a great night. Tonight you're presenting, right? How do you feel about tonight's award show, of all award shows? Well, I mean, you know, theater is something that, uh, you know, I had to definitely come out and uh, be a part of because, you know, this is, this is where it started. Thank you. So you're getting the Lifetime Achievement Award. How does that feel? It's an amazing feeling, I mean, especially being given, you know, by your peers, by the NAACP. I mean, it doesn't happen every day, you know? What's your proudest piece of work? Because you've done so much. There's a lot. I mean, everything from doing Raised in Years Ago to um, recently I've been doing a play called Turn Me Loose about Dick Gregory in New York. We did it this past summer at uh, the West Side Theater in New York, and we hope to uh, take it to Broadway. It's an amazing piece of theater about the extraordinary life of Dick Gregory. What are you looking forward to most tonight? Because you're an actress uh, as well, so I know you have many peers here, and you know theater usually starts in the roof of most actors. So of course, uh, theater definitely starts in the roof of all actors. Um, tonight, I'm looking forward um, to probably my.
my two really good friends, uh, Jermel Simon and Theo Perkins, for them to win in Fences, uh, which is a really great play that I supported you know, them in, and I worked with Jermel previously in one of Don B. Welch's plays, so I'm really happy for him. I'm looking for the whole thing, okay? This is one of the, the, the greatest organizations ever created, and if there's ever a time in the history of this country that the NAACP is needed, it's this time to help us go through these next four years. So I think we need to celebrate, enjoy the night, and be ready to go to work tomorrow. So you're a presenter tonight. Uh, what do you look forward to most tonight? Uh, I'm giving the Spirit Award to Lettucey, and I'm so excited about that. Uh, I really love her dearly. I think she's so talented, incredible voice. She's an incredible actress, and so many good things are going to happen for her. So I'm just glad to be here to represent her. There's so many people I know that are going to be here tonight. I've worked with a lot of the people that are being awarded. And uh, Joe Martin is getting the Lifetime Achievement Award. Debbie Allen is going to be here. So I'm excited to be here. Well, you know what? I am so happy that the Beverly Hills chapter here in Hollywood actually uh, t gives us a space and a platform and a venue where we can come together once a year, celebrate each other, and gather and congratulate and just meet other actors and, and the, the, the I guess the arts really can help shape our future. So this is an opportunity to meet these, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? The trailblazers maybe? Um, yeah. Yeah, trailblazers. Yeah, trailblazers. Yeah. What are you looking forward to most tonight? Just being here, being a part of all of this amazingness. I mean, it's just, it, the energy is really, really dope in here and I'm just looking forward to just all, all these successful people, these talented individuals, and I, I'm looking forward to see who, who's nominated and, and who's going to win what and take what home tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I've been seeing your Instagram videos, and you look incredible. I've noticed that you look, I see you. <laughs> How many times a day do you work out? Well, I, I was working out at least like once a day, and then I started doing two a days, and then I kind of like laid off for a second because I was getting a little muscu mu muscular and a little bit masculine, so I just kind of like laid off a little bit. So now I'm back at it just once a day. Danny, Danny DeLore, two nominations tonight. Nice, Best supporting man. I appreciate it. What else are you looking forward to tonight? Well, I'm just looking forward to everybody having a great time, man. I'm looking forward to see the opening production, which Malika Blessing and Jamie and Parker has produced. Just seeing Loretta Devine and Barry Gordy and all the people that has helped me along in my journey. It's just been a blessing. So it's like homecoming to me. Hmm. Well, I'm announced. I'm presenting for the one-person show category, and my really good girlfriend is nominated. So I'm really excited about who's going to win that category. But overall, I'm just excited to see all the nominees. Great stuff. That's good. That's good. What are you working on next? I'm still working on Animal Kingdom and my own writing and directing. So I mean, there's a lot, a lot of irons yeah. in the fire. When you started Motown, did you ever envision it being like a musical ever? Because you guys are nominated for awards did, tonight. Yes. Did I did I ever imagine what? It becoming a musical when you started in Motown. Oh, no. No, no. I did. <laughs> I mean, that, that was the farthest thing from my mind. Right. I was only interested in getting white people to hear my music because right. that was the toughest part. Yeah. And then I, after that, collecting my money. Right. You know. <laughs> so, what are you looking forward to most tonight? Huh? What are you looking forward to most tonight? Uh, just being here with the NAACP, you know, I mean, uh, I remember them as kid when I was a little tiny kid growing up, and I didn't know at all what they stood for, but I knew they were fighting for everything that I now know was so instrumental in changing the world. So well, thank you so much for talking For to them to honor me tonight uh, in any kind of way, by nomination, I, I'm so happy, you know. Thank you so much.